Wow. It's 2013. New Year's Day. And I am bored. <laughs> so I thought I'd entertain everybody and make a video. Seeing that I haven't made one in like 11 teen years. Something like that. Um, excuse my uh, <laughs> stuffed up nose. I uh, have had a touch of bronchitis. Trying to kick that. I'm on a Z pack. Um, yeah, let's talk about uh, 2012. Uh, what an amazing year. A lot of things, uh, a lot of things happened. Um, first, I went to the uh, Las Vegas meet and greet. And uh, I met some amazing, amazing people. A lot of people I wanted to meet. I'm not gonna really gonna name name drop because there's no way I could possibly, possibly remember all those names. Mm -mm. So you all know who you are because you're all amazing. Um, what else did I do? In Vegas. I went to the Hoover Dam. That was pretty cool. Uh. And I jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. Wow. I'm just going to ramble on because I don't know what I'm talking about. There's no platform to this video. Um, what else did I do in Vegas? Uh, I don't know. Hung out with my friend. Uh... Vegas is weird, dude. Vegas is like opening up my oven when it's on 500 degrees and just standing in front of it. I don't know how you guys live out there. It's crazy. Uh, what else happened in 2012? Let's see. I had a job, lost a job. <laughs> the work situation is crazy. Uh, hopefully this year will be better. I don't know. Um... What else? We had, uh, I held a little mini, mini meet and greet in Long Branch, New Jersey, for lunch. There's only like nine of us. We had a good time. Um, and I'm going to hold another one. I've already posted a new page for that, uh, in June sometime. Uh, what else? What else did we do last year? Something, I forget, something in... Somewhere on the East Coast, uh, where was it, Atlantic City? Yeah, Atlantic, oh yeah, the Atlantic City meet and greet. Amazing time, more again, again, more amazing people. Um, it's, you know, not very big. I think we had like 60, 70 people. Um, but what an amazing time we had. Uh... As some of you may know or may not know, I am co-hosting the uh, the 2013 Atlantic City Meet and Greet, and uh, there's really not much information on it right now, but uh, we will be getting that together before the end of the month and uh, posting some information, uh, the date, and the new location, because we're scouting out a new location. Uh, what else? I guess I'll talk about me a little bit. Um, as far as my weight loss uh, is concerned. 2009, August 9th, I think, I got my uh, gastric bypass. And uh, I have been uh, maintaining for, what, three years? Three years now, something like that. And I've been doing good. Uh, I have never really gotten to any substantial exercise program, which I'm going to try to make one of my resolutions. Um, but I've been uh, holding a 240 for over two years. Um, I don't think I do anything special besides uh, choose the right foods or make the right choices. Uh, I try to drink my water, and uh, I always take my vitamins every day, 
every day. I don't miss a day really in the vitamins. Once in a while I might I might miss it, but you know, one day's not gonna kill you. But as far as that, I mean, you know, I get my vitamins uh mailed to me uh every three months or whenever. Um so I don't gotta it's you know, I'm on automatic so I don't gotta remember to order them. And uh if I don't eat them they would seriously back up and that would be a problem. Um, yeah, but I think it's 99% of making the right food choices. And also, probably the biggest thing that people ignore, and you know who you are, you ignores. People who drink and eat at the same time. Um, as everyone knows... You know, you're not supposed to drink and eat at the same time. And, uh, I mean, the basic reason is obviously, uh, you know, the opening in our stoma, our pouch, is, uh, you know, a certain size, very small. And, uh, if you use, if you drink, you know, obviously if you drink liquid with your food, it's going to push it through and, uh, the food won't stay in your stomach long enough to tell your, your brain that you are full. Um, so, on a normal basis, I do not drink and eat at the same time, but I will tell you when I do go out to a nice restaurant, I will drink and eat, but again, it's 90% of the time that I am not drinking and eating, I'm following the rules, and I think that's a, uh, a major part of, uh, my success as keeping the weight off, um, and if you are in that bad habit, maybe this year you should uh, try to stop. You know, I'm not saying to stop all the time. Like I said, I mean, once in a while I do drink and eat. But majority of the time I don't. And I think that's a major, major thing that helps keep the weight off. Besides making the right choices. And I don't always make the right choices either. You know, I'll have a uh, you know, cookie here and there. I'll have some ice cream. You know, moderation is key. I mean, if I eat too much uh, ice cream or cookies or... I don't dump. I don't have dumping syndrome. But if I do eat them, maybe it's a type of dumping. I don't know. I just... My stomach feels like poo for a while. I don't have any kind of, uh, you know, racing heart or any of those other symptoms. But it's just like my stomach's like, why did you eat that? And then I'm like, I don't know, dude. Why do we eat that? Talk to the brain. The brain knows why, and the brain's like, I don't know. <laughs> That's silly. Um, getting food stuck, it doesn't really happen to me t really much anymore, because I'm pretty much well in tune with uh, chewing my food good. But even though, sometimes I sit down and I start eating, and then after about like four or five bites, I'm like, uh-oh. Not that anything got stuck. It's just like, I don't know, kind of got backed up maybe. And I just got to, you know, wait a little bit before I uh, before I eat anymore. And, uh, and then it's fine. And every once in a while, if I do get something stuck or what I call backed up, I don't know. Um, I'll have a little small sip of water, you know here and there, so it will help loosen it up, um, but I really don't have any problem with that, um, I don't know, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, I'm at 9 minutes and 13 seconds, and I tell everybody that I hate long videos, I will not, uh, pretty much I will not sit and endure 20 minute video I mean I can't even break it up into two or three so I will not make a 20 minute video and tell people that I won't watch it so anyway I hope you enjoy my rambling on and uh, just want to say I love all you guys you guys have made a a difference in my life meeting everyone and uh Hope to see you guys again this year. And I don't know, I don't think I'll be making it to the Vegas meet and greet. I mean, if I do, it'll be a last minute thing. 
And uh, we'll see. All right, 10 minutes. Got to go. Bye.